So fans saw the uh, Florida State game, obviously. Uh, what do you think they should be looking out for uh, just to see that Alabama's getting better and they're progressing? Well, I think the interesting thing this weekend will be how the linebackers are deployed, who's playing where, uh, how many guys might be in different positions, uh, are there some defensive linemen who might be used at the linebacker spot exactly, how does that shake out? Uh, I'm sure that's going to be one of the big, if not the biggest story in the ball game for Alabama. Obviously, any team deals with injuries, uh, but to have those two so significant early, do you, do you think it's going to be a case of we're going to plug and drop who's going to fit, or do you think we'll just make it work with the regular personnel and linebackers? Well, you know, that's not, that's not my decision. Yeah. I really don't know. But, uh, you know, Coach Saban said on our radio show last night that this is the first time in his career he has ever seen that many injuries at the same position. And, uh, you know, certainly it'll be a, a significant factor. Now, a couple of the guys hopefully will be back in a week or two. Uh, but for tomorrow, there's going to be a good bit of shuffling going on and potentially, I guess, next week against Colorado State as well. But uh, it was a first for him, and he's been around this game for a long time. You can look at the stats, 96 yards for Jalen Hurts last week. Do you think that could be a cause for concern, or do you think it's something that they're going to progressively get better at throughout the year? We know when you look at the stats, the first stat I look at is, did you win? And he won. I am, I really don't like all the talk about, well, he should be doing this. He needs to do this. He need, the kid was a few months removed from his high school prom, and he led Alabama to the national championship game and had them in front with a couple of minutes to go. Uh, I don't see that as being a poor season by any stretch of the imagination. A lot of the folks who talk about him not being able to do stuff for people who've never taken a snap in their lives. So I don't pay much attention to that. Sure, he would like to improve, I'm sure, as we all would. Be a better broadcaster, be a better football player, be a, a better doctor, whatever it is you do for a living. But uh, no, I didn't see any major problems with him. You know, every game is not going to be a spectacular offensive showing. Tom Brady's a pretty good quarterback. I'm sure he'd like to have Thursday night back as well. Nick Saban in his post-game press conference is always, it's always a different demeanor. Sometimes he's happy, a lot of times he's not. What do you think needs to happen for him to be happy tomorrow when out of the game? I have no idea. I mean, obviously he wants the team to win, and he wants them to play to their full capability. Uh, you know, coaches, the best coaches will always find a coaching opportunity regardless of the outcome. You know, if, if a guy runs for 200 yards, he had a great game, but boy, you know, he, if he had done this or that, he might have been able to run for 239 yards. So the great coaches are never satisfied. The great players are never satisfied. If you sit back on your laurels, that's when the pack catches in, blows on by.